Hi, hello everybody. My name is Luis Hernandez Salopresa. I'm currently a senior at Florida State University studying computer science. Well, I'm going to get into this. All right, so today we're going to be learning about, we're going to be learning about four sensors. So four sensors are really important in the sense, uh, let me make sure this, this doesn't have anything with it. So very important since they're like, for example, you go, you press a wall, you touch another robot or something, you want to do something. So four sensors are very, very important. Just kind of to understand, remember, it's not a touch sensor, it's a force sensor. There's a difference. A force sensor, it detects how much force is being used and just kind of like all of that kind of stuff. So it's in a sense, it's it's better because you get more of a data rather than, hey, is it pressed, yes or no, is it true or false? So this kind of like gives you more, more, more options, more tools in that sense. So first, let's actually set up our sensor. So, mm, I like to call it, mm, let's just call it sensor for right now. So sensor is equal to four sensor. And then I have it mapped in port A, as you guys can see on the very top. So and then we're gonna do legs, because those are our motors. Then motor pair. Um, so it's gonna be C and then D and then so that's it for motors all right so now we're gonna do uh, we have to set up a while loop just to for purpose so while true so this thing is always gonna be true so it's gonna be an infinite loop essentially so just so, so I can show you guys the four sensor just kind of how it works so it's gonna be very short very easy very simple doesn't have much 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 complication to it so then we're gonna go and then we're gonna do mm, so just we're gonna do just very simple so so just to show you guys very simple so we're gonna do date we're gonna call it value value is equal to um, sensor dot is underscore press so i'm calling this function it's going to return a boolean so it's going to turn hey is it true or is it false was this press or was this not press so then we're going to go if um value is equal equal to true then i want the, the legs to move for three seconds dot move and then three uh, seconds so now so now whenever i press it if it's true then that means that it, the motors are going to move for three seconds so let's try it out let's see so now i'm gonna press it it goes for three seconds so it stopped so now i'll press it again because it's an infinite loop it's gonna as long as i keep pressing it it's gonna go so that's just that's just another way you can actually do this multiple ways so for example since as i said this returns a boolean we actually we don't even need to catch this we could actually just go and do um this remember python spacing matters so make sure you know that everything's very formatted very well so then if sensor is pressed then true and then it's gonna go for three seconds so now where do we go and then we'll press on it. It still does the same thing. It's still the same thing. It's just that you don't you don't need to catch the value since this return the true. You could just compare it right there on the spot. That's just how functions work and everything. So now, for example, you're like, okay, I don't even I don't really like this whole if I feel like it's just way more complicated. You could actually do sensor mm, dot wait wait until underscore pressed so what this is going to do is going to be like hey was it pressed yes or no if not it's not going to go so now we're going to do mm, so now I'm gonna make the legs go I'll make it go for 10 seconds now I'm gonna make it go for two seconds I like seconds because it's just very easy to test to demonstrate you guys so now I'm press on it. And then so as you guys see it's no, nothing's going on, it's just still. So I press on it and it goes. Press on it again. Press on it again. Very cool, right? So as you guys remember in the beginning I I mentioned to you guys that like a force sensor actually returns data back. So another one that you guys could do is um sensor dot get underscore force so what this is going to do is that oh i have to 
force underscore percentage. Mm, I think that should be it. Okay, so what this is gonna do, um, this is gonna return. So if I press on it, for example, if I go full, uh, program still running. Mm. For example, if I press all of it, that's 100% the percentage that's gonna be returned. However, if I only press like half of it, that's 50. You know, it all depends on how much force I'm putting. So now I'm gonna catch the value. I'm gonna do value is equal to sensor get force percentage. So now it's gonna be, so now I could actually use this for something. So as you guys remember, um, so let's do mm, legs dot move. And then we're gonna do three seconds. I should probably stop deleting them, correct? <laughs> and then we're gonna go with speed is equal to value. So whatever percentage is there, that's the value that it's gonna catch. And then that's the value it's gonna use for the speed. So, prime example, I'm only gonna press half. As you can see, it goes much slower. So now I'll press all of it. You see? So, so that's also, you could also do, um, so as you guys know, the force sensor actually works on Newtons. So get force, Newton, I think it's Newtons, no, it's Newtons. So what this would do, this would just return an integer, it's like between one or, f I believe one or five. Uh, we can actually test this out right now. So you guys can see right here on the screen, if I press on it. Um, so you guys see, so one to 10. So. If we were to do this, obviously the speed is going to be super low, but you guys get the concept. That's There's pretty much not much more to it. You could also as well do um, sensor dot wait until underscore released. released. So would you so what this would do is just essentially once you release it, it's gonna do something. Obviously, remember it's a function that you're calling. So that's this is all it would do. So this is the force sensor, just very plain and simple. And then, so as you guys know, there's more to more resources. It's gonna be in the link in the description. I hope this was very useful, and I hope you guys learned something today.